Hey guys, Gear here for Vitesnik Power Sports, and I'm gonna do your virtual delivery on a Bass Buggy 18. Uh, this video should work uh, pretty good with the 16, the 20, 22, and the 24 as well uh, in the fishing model pontoon uh, series by Sun Tracker. So come aboard, let's check this thing out. <coughs> We're gonna start at the council here. So this is uh, Sun Tracker's roto molded council. Um, starting with the ignition here on your left side, uh, there's an accessory mode, off, and a uh, twist to the right to start. Uh, moving upward, you have a 12 volt receptacle right here. You do have a, a tachometer and a fuel gauge, standard. Moving down to the kill switch here, which is your tether. Uh, your uh, tether cord, which you're going to fasten that to your life vest when you're underway. When this gets pulled off of this dongle, it will kill the motor. So this has to be hooked up for it to start. Now to your switches, uh, starting with a horn, which is red. Next is going to be your lights. So you have anchor and nav lights. Your anchor light is located on your bimini. And your nav lights are LEDs up at the uh, bow of the boat. Um, your center, uh, it's a three-way switch, so um, when it's in the center, that would be off. Now to your uh, courtesy lights. So the boat has um, some, some lights inside the boat for nighttime, or if you're covering the boat um, and you're inside it, uh, it's super dark, you can uh, light up the courtesy lights to help you navigate uh, the poles. And then your next switch would be the aerator. Um, the aerator is what you're going to turn on to fill your live wells. This boat has two live wells. We'll go over those uh, shortly. Next is your shifter. Your shifter here has a trim button to trim the motor up and down. The red um, piece of plastic there is your finger release. So you have to use your index finger there to uh, release the shifter before you can shift it into neutral or reverse, or into forward or reverse. And then there is a, a throttle only mode by pushing uh, the center of the shifter there and then shifting it forward or backward it'll be a throttle only mode um, your prop will not engage the uh, fuse box for all this uh, gadgetry is underneath the steering wheel there's a curtain here it's just snapped in you can remove the curtain and there's a, a fuse box right inside there that's well labeled there's also uh, an area there for a trolling motor battery. If you decide to add a trolling motor to your rig, this boat is pre-wired um, for that. Here's one of your courtesy lights, lights that we had mentioned there. And your uh, audio system. This is an AM, FM, and Bluetooth uh, stereo with two speakers. Now I'm going to show you the live well um, operations. This is your bow live well. And the way it works is you have a valve here. So when you hit that aerator button at the council, if this is in line, like so, it's going to fill this live well. Now there's a stamp pipe that goes inside here. So when the water gets up to this height, it will automatically drain out. Um, if you didn't want this live well to fill, you would just make that switch per that valve perpendicular and, um, and it would not fill, but you could still fill the rear one or vice versa. Now, uh, at the end of uh, the day when you're done fishing, you'll just remove the standpipe, you'll unthread it and take it out and all the water will drain out for you. We'll head uh, to the back here and I'll show you the second live well. Which is uh, just a little smaller in the in the uh, rear here. Works the exact same way. Behind that is the cranking battery location. Easy to access. You also have um, rod holders throughout the boat here, and um, and also some rod storage along uh, the side of the rail. You have three fishing seats in this boat. They, uh, they swivel 360 degrees and they're removable. Then uh, the two front uh, roto mold areas here are uh, storage. So you have lots of storage options. There's your inlet for the trolling motor if you added one.
We have three doors on the boat, uh, the side door being um, wide enough for a wheelchair. We have a little bit of storage on the 18 uh, under this L seat here. You have roto molded stor uh, storage, it's guttered. Um, it should keep everything nice and dry for you. Uh, the bimini top, you just touch on that real quick. The, uh, this 18 model has the, um, the assisted uh, bimini. So there's a hydraulic system in here basically. So when you're down in the uh, tow position, which this would be your tow position, you can easily push it up like that and get it up into the um, your upright position. You'd lock in these feet and then you just unzip the boot and grab this uh, rail here and just open it up and then there'll be two straps that'll come down to these hooks here to tighten it in place so you can have it open while you're underway. Uh, we're gonna head back to the engine, show you how the hood operates, how to check your oil, where the fuses are back there. Um, so let's head, on, let's head on back there. All right guys, we're back at the engine. Uh, we wanna cover, cover a couple uh, little tricks on this thing. And um, first we're gonna start with the manual trim. Um, spot here. So if you have this thing in storage, for instance, there's no battery in it and you want to um, move this motor up or down, you can do that by releasing the hydraulics. There's a, a white flathead um, plastic uh, screw. Yeah, right there. And uh, you can uh, put a big, uh, like a number two or three flathead on that and, um, and let those uh, hydraulics bleed and It'll drop this thing down, or you can have somebody pull it up while you do that and lock it back in place. The, um, the real tilt and trim button is right here on the left side. So there's two locations on the boat to run the motor up and down. To um, take the hood off, you're gonna push in right here. I'm sorry, pull out. Some are push, some are pull. Um, you're gonna release the latch and get that into a safe spot. The uh, port side of this engine is where your dipstick is going to be. Just a quarter turn and pull it out like so. You're going to have a minimum and a maximum line. There's your range for your oil, uh, for your oil fill. The proper way to check that is going to be to trim this motor all the way up as high as it goes, let it sit there for a couple minutes, then bring it back down to level like this, then check your oil. That'll get all the oil out of the different little ports and uh, holes in the engine and get it all, um, get it all down in the, in the bottom. The oil filter's right next to the dipstick here. Um, I'll let you come around on this side. I'll show you where the fuse location is. All right, so on the front of the engine is your fuse location. You have four fuses here in this box. Um, there's reference numbers on top of the housing, which you have to reference in the manual at the fuse page to tell you what they're all for. But um, I know one's ignition, one's accessory. Um, there's a couple other ones. I'm not sure what they are off the top of my head. But if something were to quit working, um, this is one of the, the first places to go and, and check for a, a blown fuse. Um, along those lines, your um, your main uh, breaker for the boat is right here. So this is gonna be connected to the battery inside of this compartment here. Um, so if, if this boat doesn't start, um, this is another, you know, one of the first places you check. And this yellow tab here will be kicked out at a 45 and you're just gonna pinch it back together and stick it back in there to reset it, much like a breaker in your house. Um, the, probably the last thing to touch on um, back here would be um, your oil fill location is here. You do have a maintenance schedule and specs on top of the engine here for reference. It's all in the manual as well. And then uh, lastly would be um, this boat does have a 
uh, primer ball system for the fuel uh, for the fuel system. So if you um, are having a hard start scenario, you ran this thing out of gas, or you haven't maybe ran it in a while, you might want to come back and run this um, this pump a few times to prime that that fuel system for a uh, help it start. Uh, when you guys pick up, when you take delivery of your boat, um, the salesperson will go around the trailer briefly um, while you hook it up and teach you a little bit about that. Um, and I think that concludes our uh, walk around on the Bass Buggy 18. If you have any further questions, please contact um, our service department or your salesman. And, um, and don't be shy to, uh, to bounce any other questions off of them. Um, thanks very much for your business and have a, have a great summer on the water.